Hello, this is Pinky, and this will be a second part to my other tutorial on how to add clothing. In this video, we will demonstrate how to add clothing using Blender. The benefits of doing this over normal will be the fact that you won't have to add the bones as such like this, where you have the hip child container and you have the hips in there, and it ends up getting super clustered because you have things attached to everything. Inside of Blender, it will actually not require you to have to do this. So I will show you how to do this. First step is we're gonna get our clothing we're gonna wanna add. Uh, in this case, I'll be using the app sweater. I will leave the link to this in the description. Uh, and we will be using the base amp wave as our model. So to get started, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find our model and I'm going to show an explorer. And this will give us our pathway into our avatar. So I'm gonna control C and copy this link here. And then I'm going to open up Blender and to start, I'm going to click on these and delete them. And here I'm going to go file, import, import FBX, and I'm going to control V and I'm going to select the amp wave. I'm going to import this into our scene and I'm going to repeat this exact same process now, but for the, um, the sweater itself. So I'm going to show in folder open it up. I'm going to control C this and then I'm going to head over to our blender and I'm going to import. Click here, control V, enter. I have found our sweater here. I'm going to import it and now we have our sweater. Now, the second step to this will be using the will be using the plugin cats which uh, can be found over here. I will leave a link to this also in the description, but what you want to do is you want to head over to releases and click the newest one. And then you're going to want to scroll down to the bottom and download this zip file. And then what you're going to do in Blender is you're going to head over to edit. You're going to go to preferences. It's going to pull up this little menu. You're going to want to go to add-ons. You're going to want to click on install and you're going to want to find where that file is. I have mine already installed. So in that case, I don't have to do anything. But what you would want to do is you would want to find the zip folder, something like this. You'd click on it and you'd click install. And then after that is done, you will have to actually make sure that it's enabled by clicking the check mark here. And if you have done this correctly, when you pull up this sidebar by hitting this little arrow, you'll now see that cats is successfully installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on our armature here and I'm going to hold shift and click on the next one. And there will be a setting that should come up here, right here, custom model creation. And there will be a merge armatures button. So what we're going to want to do is merge armatures. And we're going to make sure that it doesn't join the meshes. And we're going to click merge armatures. After a few seconds, this will actually merge them, as you can see up here. And we have our sweater now added to our avatar. And we have no extra bones in our um, armature. So what we can do is go over to file head over to export export as fbx then we're going to want to put in that link again where our uh, amp wave is and i'm going to export it as amp wave 2 and i'm going to head over down here turn off bake uh, animation turn off leaf bones and i'm going to make sure that it is set to fbx all and i'm going to hit export now we will head over to Unity, and as you can see, it will be loading. We just wait a few seconds, and we go over to where our amp wave is stored. And as you can see, our new model is here. So we're going to drag this in, and of course, it's going to be a bit smaller because it's actually different size. So to change this, you just Control C. I'm going to turn off this model for ease, and I'm going to Control V it, and it is now the normal size. And now the next step will be using Pumpkin's avatar tools which I used in the last video as well. And I am going to drag the model that we are going to copy from in here. So this is the uh, original model. And then this is our edited one. And this will be our main avatar. And then we're gonna check what we want. Uh, for this case, I'm just gonna put all of them on and I'm going to do copy selected. And it has now copied every component over to our amp wave but we are not completely finished yet because sometimes when we export it from Blender, our avatar won't be set up properly. So to make sure that it's set up properly, we're going to click on our avatar 
and over here on the rig bar you can see it's set to generic this is not correct we're going to want to set it to humanoid and hit apply now after this is done this will take a few seconds to successfully apply we're going to hit this configure button right here and we're going to click save and now we're going to have to configure our avatar so as you can see right now our hip bone is unbounded and this is not what we want so right here where chest is we're going to click on here we're going to click on chest and we're going to double click and as you can see our chest is now added and we're going to go to head and i, I personally recommend unbounding the jawbone because it can make some avatars look goofy so as you can see it is now unbounded and then just for extra case you're going to go to pose and enforce t-pose hit apply we will wait a few seconds for this to apply and then we will hit done when we are done and as you can see our avatar should pr work par properly so to double check that the clothing is attached uh, we will have it here and as you can see there's some clipping thankfully the creator added a toggle to make it hide and then we're gonna just hit play now and with Limia in our package we can now have control over the avatar. This means that it did actually work. And to make sure that the shirt is attached, we will make sure to move it a little. And the shirt seems to move perfectly with the avatar. With this tutorial, you have successfully added clothing to your avatar using Cat's plugin. Thank you very much. This has been Pinky. Have a rest, good rest of your day. And please like and subscribe.